apartments actually have a keypad in order to get in your door. Mine is actually quite rare to have an actual like key and lock, so I just thought that was kind of interesting. Welcome to my house! So this is the entryway. We have a little shoe closet here with all my bags, masks, all that good stuff. Pretty much just use this for a drunk junk closet, random stuff, medicine, cleaning supplies, masks, bags, trash bags, all that good stuff. Of course, you gotta take your shoes off when you walk inside. And right when you step in is my little kitchen. The lighting in all these rooms is just horrible, bright white. Not much I can do, but good when you're cooking. I finally put up some cute little pictures, postcards from my travels, decent sized fridge. This is pretty normal sized kitchen for Korea. This is all the counter space that I have. <laughs> uh, my gas stove, sink, drying rack. All of this stuff was left by the previous teacher who lived here. So I'm very glad about that. She really set me up. This microwave, toaster oven, blender, the rice cooker my school actually bought for me because they thought I couldn't live without it, which not complaining. Lots of storage that I, well, there's snacks in there and wine glass that I'll never use, but there's like nothing in this one and just some pots and stuff down there. My trash bag would usually hang on those, but I just took it out, so. And a tiny, tiny window. And then over here is my little eating area. I do my makeup here in the morning. That's about it. A little wall of photos. And then this is the bathroom. It's your typical wet room style. The shower is attached to the sink. So you just turn this knob here and water comes out of the shower head. Everything's supposed to get wet and you may even get wet when you're washing your hands if you forget to turn that uh, back to the faucet. So technically you can close this door if you want to, but I never do unless I don't want anyone to see my mess. But yeah, here's the main, my main living space. It's pretty big. I'm very happy with it. Again, most of the furniture in here, except for that lamp, the previous teacher left here for me to use. So great. My bed, a little side table. Uh, this here is the intercom. So if somebody is at the door downstairs or at your door, ringing your doorbell, you can see them here and let them in. Uh, this is the heater, so I heat my water and the floors when I need to. And then AC up there. Um, I also have this little futon couch thing. My wardrobe, all my clothes are in here. Ta-da! This closet is a lifesaver. It is huge and I can put random stuff, extra blankets, Backpacks, my suitcases, vacuum cleaner, ironing board, yoga mat, <laughs> all this stuff. And use it as an extra closet if I needed to, I don't. But yeah, it's really great to have. Um, but I have to leave this door open because of mold reasons, which is unfortunate. This is my desk area and my TV. Uh, I have a giant mirror, which I love, and now it's almost Christmas time, so I have my little tree up and some lights. And this is what Koreans consider a balcony. You can close this for some privacy or when you don't want to hear your laundry. Here I keep my recycling, my laundry machine. There's a drying rack up there, which is horrible and broken, but whatever. And my view outside, It's it looks decent but it's not really that great. Also, it's raining right now. I was waiting for good weather to make this video so you could see the natural light coming into my room, but 
I don't pay rent. This is covered by Epic, the program that I'm with. So all I pay are utilities, so water, gas, electricity, heating, which is very cheap. My water and heating bill is normally only a couple dollars. Anyway, this is my apartment here in Korea.